is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. This morning and welcome back to Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, your station for fresh news, smart talk all day. It is Friday the 15th of July 2022 and you are on the clock with Erin Green. It's a sports Friday with Mr. Eric Sawyer III. Good morning, Mr. Sawyer. Good morning, Thomas. I am good, thank you. I am good, thank you. That song is called Normal by Freetown Collective. They are not Bahamian, but I wish they were. When I say that, what I mean is the type of brethren you wouldn't mind being a part of their tribe. Really cool artists. And that song was a part of a uh, campaign to focus on violence against children across the region, in the Caribbean, including the Bahamas. I just wanted to play that song, Normal, this morning. Now, it's a big sports day. I would say like it's a 100, 133 million Dollar Sports, sports day. day. Yes, it is. That's yes, a, it that's is. That's a YBA. But just before we go there, I just, I just, I just have to say this, right? Uh, staff on tip should be paid lower minimum wage. No. No. And says no. N-O. And if you're proposing that employees earning the bulk of their income from gratuities receive less than the full rise, uh, I gonna, I'm just going to assume that's a typo. That's what we're going to do. We're going to assume that that was a typo. Yeah, Maybe you misspoke work. or somebody misheard. Yeah, something. But the something. people who are making the bulk of their money from tips, those are the people who need to, the protection of the minimum wage the most. <laughs> right? They go yeah. above and beyond. They yeah, so, but we ain't going to talk about that. No. No, 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 because we had to talk about sports for real. I got plenty politics to talk about. But if you see this piece of paper, Mr. Sawyer, but this is important. The road works at uh, Mackey Street by Top of the Hill. You all see it been raining, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it has. They are company responsible for that site. You need to put a metal plate to cover the rain-eroded trench. Simple. Drivers, please drive with care and with caution. I saw somebody... Want to do the two at the same time? It, it, what? I, <laughs> I know you get, te- you get a test for that. Uh, I saw somebody drive directly... I mean, they were driving straight ahead, you know, like they were in their lane. But the 18-wheeler that was trying to avoid the hole was not in their lane. And I just want to say to people that while I am here touting proper road usage all the time, do not try and fight an 18-wheeler with your march. I was, I was told this when I first started to drive from my father. Yeah. You must be on the lookout for um, people who have no sense and kids on the road. Yeah. And always remember... If they bigger than you, they got the right of way. Yeah. And see, like, technically, they don't have the right of way, but when you're dead, (laughs) nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. I don't understand. Also, uh, you know, but you ain't in insurance right now. You in that fresh Bahamian flag color shirt. Thank you. Good morning. But uh, I think we need classes in driving in the rain, driving in storms, and flooded, uh, flooded areas, and driving on the highway. Like, we need to add those classes back... Yeah, roundabout yeah, yeah. learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and also, y'all stop parking your vehicle on the sidewalk in the rain. You think it's difficult for pedestrians to have to walk in the rain? Imagine them having to walk in the road in the rain because your truck is on the sidewalk. Please don't do that. Also, uh, Ministry of uh, Works, Department of Environmental Health Services, I'm going to suggest that you drive on Bay Street. 
from like Margaritaville heading west and tell me what you smell. That's all I'm gonna say. Perhaps we need some building inspections, but uh, I had quite a wafty smell yeah. this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so perhaps we need to go in that area and uh, set out a consistent plan for drain maintenance because you're already on the water's edge. It's mm -hmm. very, that's a 20, just yeah. like garbage collection, that's 24 seven job because it smelled bad right by the beach. And forget the beach, only, you know, poor tourists go to the beach, that beach in Bahamians. But it's right next to Margaritaville and let that be the impetus for you to, because it, it, that's an important intersection. The only intersection to get a brand new stoplight. State of the art on, on all three, one, yeah, for, for a hotel, yeah, yeah, for a hotel yeah. entrance. They got a whole stoplight. So it must be important to somebody, and y'all just drive through there. And when you see the SD, the yellow plate that was parked with the bottom hanging out in the road, the car, with the bottom hanging out in the road, don't mind that it's a march, you know, don't mind it's a tiny car, you were still in. When you see them, tell them, move the car. Please, on Monday, Oh boy, I got so many things to talk about on Monday. Monroe's about face on settlement disclosures. For a second, I tried to be pivoting like basketball, but that's not a sports story. Uh, but DeAndre's delighted, $133 million payday. That is a sports, forgive me, that is a sports story, and we're going to get to that in a second. But Mr. Sawyer, I, the buddy getting a great... Um, DeAndre getting a great deal is one thing. Yeah. The chance to see two Bahamians playing on the same team at the same time on the court is what every well this is what I live in for. But trust me, if that if that did happen, um, whenever the Heat would have played the Pacers at home, mm -hmm. the place would have been jam packed with Bahamian flags. So I telling you. Yeah. But such is life, you know. Yeah, yeah, he, but he, wait, he wait, 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 wait. He was a restricted free agent, which Hold means on. he he had the opportunity to go and talk to teams. And sign an offer sheet. So that's what so restricted sudden, means. You mm -hmm. can go talk. To, so what does unrestricted mean? Means like if you go talk to a team and you decide you can sign with that team, then your former team can't have anything to say. Like they can't match it. They they they, they can only beat it. And then it's still your choice if you want to go back. Like a Jalen Brunson who signed yeah. with the Knicks. He was a maverick last year. He's not going back to Dallas. He's gonna stay, stay with the game. Yeah. And there's nothing that Dallas could. Um, the other team could do about it. Nothing. Like, just like how uh, Kevin Durant yeah. left the Thunder to go and sign with the Warriors. Yeah, yeah. There was nothing the Thunder could do. So, see, as much as the play on the court is exciting, this play off the court is very exciting. Yeah. This, uh, the tension between the, the players and uh, the teams, the owners, mm -hmm. right? That I machinery. Love I love it. I, love I mean, it. And, and I think that's good. I would have thought that, uh, I mean, I know that the team owners are obviously investing a lot of money in the space. You got stadiums, you got insurance, you got people to play, pay who are not even on the court. They're never going to play a game. Mm -hmm. These people still have to be paid. They got to have insurance, right? They, there's standards that have to be followed. So the owners of the team, they hold a lot of weight, right? They have a lot of responsibility mm -hmm. on the court and off the court. But how do you tell the players that uh, you can't decide who you want to play with? And you can't decide who you want to play for? And so I imagine the rules are necessary because teams with more money would then control the league, right? Right, right. Like the Lakers and the, and the um, Heat, mm -hmm. like the Celtics, like the Warriors, those teams that are on top, you know, they... they They'd be able to um, attract the better, the better free agents. Yeah, know? yeah. No, but that's neither here nor there nowadays. I, I'm glad for the collective bargaining agreement. You know, that allows some sort of parity. All right. So, what does this mean for DeAndre? Because I still stuck on that article I read a few weeks ago, right? I still stuck right in that place with where I imagine with DeAndre mm -hmm. uh, playing video games. For me, it was not that you. Uh, playing video games versus watching tape, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's a high stress space, yeah. and your particular position, you I get that. But you have a child, you had a newborn, mm -hmm. and the article didn't suggest that you were filling your time off the court 
with that with that child, right? Mm -hmm. And so for me, from you said it, right? DeAndre needs to grow up mm -hmm. into his body, like to understand spatial awareness, mm -hmm. understanding the space that he occupies on the court in a game, mm -hmm. right? But also understanding uh, the space that he should be, the spaces he should be occupying when he's off the court, what he should be doing with mm -hmm. his time, what he should be focusing mm -hmm. on. And a part of that is growing up mm -hmm. as well. You think this $133 million deal is gonna be the impetus to push him forward, the money itself, or maybe even the tension, right, between the paces and uh, and the Suns, no, no, that's neither here nor there. In the NBA, you know, business is business nowadays, so there, there won't be any tension. It's but, not but like I mean, he came but, from Indiana, yeah, yeah, and you know, and, and they want him back, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what you right. think the thing is that's gonna get? I think I know what it is. I think I know what the thing is that's gonna make the make the spark hit right and ignite him. He need his Grammy to come up there and threaten to, you know, whoop him. Yeah, no clicks, no conk salad. No Sans Rattler, mm -hmm. no video game. That's it right there. If his Grammy come up there, it's because ain't nobody else could do it. Ain't nobody else could tell this big young man, right? You can't play video games. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think the $30 million that he's going to get next year, sh just in one season, should kind of, you know, alleviate uh, some sort of... Um, Little boy tendencies in him, you know. Right. Um, he has a child, yes, and um, he does have the power. He has to remain with the sons up until January fifteenth, right? So whatever then, happens, he's stuck with the sons, even if he signs at least with until the Pacers. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. At least until no, no, he can't sign with the Pacers anymore. He's going to be a Phoenix Sun. He can be traded. Okay. So, after January fifteenth. So the Phoenix Suns met the deal. Yeah, they met. That the was deal. quick. Yeah, yeah, that was quick. They met the deal in half hour, in less than half hour. 8.15, he signed the uh, offer sheet from the from the Pacers. By 8.42, he had a reply from the Suns. Dear Suns, I would like to thank... Well, I, I, I'm trying to be polite, but you killed my dream. Because I think the other thing that could have been the impetus is playing with Buddy. Playing with another Bahamian and getting that... It's one thing to get chafing from your opponents. It's another thing to get chafing from another From your, from your hometown, boy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you know, but you know, such is life. Um, he'll be back in the pick and roll system now with the with the Suns, pick and pop. Yeah, you know, pick okay. and roll. You know, they have a good team. Team won sixty plus games last year. So, what does this mean for Durant? Durant can still be a Phoenix Sun, but the problem is there's so many moving parts that the Nets, excuse me, don't necessarily want or need. Like they have to match the thirty five million dollar contract of Durant. That's the first thing. Oh, hold on. So right now, for him to go back to them, they have to match it? For, 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 for Durant to become a Phoenix Sun. Yeah. For Durant to be traded to the Suns, yeah. they have to match it. So you got to oh. put in players and draft picks. And it's not going to work out. They don't need the players that are available, like the Mikhail Bridges and the Cam Johnsons. They don't need those players. Right. You know, they have like a Patty Mills and whatnot. So, right. so they don't necessarily need those players. That's the problem. If you put in a third team, Maybe like the Utah Jazz and you trade like, you know, Ben Simmons that way and the money could work out. Ben Simmons could go to Utah. Maybe, maybe you could get a, um, yeah. uh, what a little short boy name. We look here. Let's go to this call and yeah. then. Donovan Mitchell. That's his name. Donovan Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Okay. He All could right. come, he could come to the Nets, but you know, it's been rumored right now that he's going to be a New York Nick within the next week or so. Anyway. What? Going to be traded to the next year. Wow. Okay, one second. Get a call on the line. Good morning, caller. You're on the clock. Good morning, Miss Green. How are you doing, madam? I'm good, thank you. How are you do? Sparky here. Yes, sir. Now, I don't have that remembrance with y'all got, but when Michael Street got Thompson signed as pitch round draft pick over to all, how much did he make? Do you remember? No, I have no idea. But it wasn't this kind of money, though. No, no, no. no. And, um, and Michael Fly, when we first saw Michael Fly, what the little small fly you hold in your hand. Mm -hmm. You see what's going on in the Bahamas, with the Bahamas now in the international? We hear the Bahamas making $133 million. 
receive the hands going down around the world with flat belly because of buff. No? Sorry, we're breaking up there, Sparky. Could you repeat that? I say we see the Hammonds going around into that state and the NBA signing for $133 million. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We see the Hammonds now after winning the NBA final on the big ball gold trophy. While riding on a motorcade with one flat belly big as a buff. Oh man, Sparky, I'm so sorry. It is just too, it is just too uh, garbled. But I appreciate what you're saying. What I gathered, you know, you yeah, were, man. when you're Sweet Bell got now. in the game, it, he was making money, but it was small. Yeah, it's big money. And yeah, so I, I look just now, his net worth, Sweet Bell's net worth, they say is about total. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Cause DeAndre can make thirty next year. Yeah. And I, what is what I'm hoping you know. for DeAndre, that if, if okay, maybe the thing for you is just being in the NBA. That's like for me, just playing with Rick Fox that one time 25 years ago, that's, you know, that, that, that's enough for me. Yeah. So maybe just being in the NBA was it for DeAndre, right? But now he's getting paid big money now. So, so you got to find that drive. Now you got to find that drive because guess what? Investors just invested in you. Right. And so if, if winning the championship, is not what drives you. If winning three in a row, four in a row is not what drives you. As I showed us, we're driving LeBron, right? Hopefully, hopefully his child will drive him, you know? Right? Or whatever that passion is beyond the court, that you understand how this time in your life can impact the rest of your life, right? Yeah, I'm telling my boy, if you want to grow, man. if you want to grow um, Chick Chani and Aloe in the bush for the rest of your life, then you can play 10, 15 solid years of basketball mm -hmm. to fund that, to make sure that for the rest of your life, you could do whatever you want and let that be the drive to push you there. Yeah, because I be, imagine the amount of video games he could buy when his NBA career is finished. You see what I'm saying? He'll only be about 35, You see what 36. I'm saying? Um, let's go to this call, and then I got a story about a Bahamian in Europe, right? Playing ball, playing professional yeah, all, yeah, ball. All the time. Good morning, caller. You're on the clock. Yeah, how you doing? Good, thank you. How you do? You know what I would like for the talk shows to do? Yes, sir. I mean, you, you got time allocated and you're on a salary base and all that. Probably not enough money to, to live by, but something very important in this country is going on right under our noses, and we, we, we're not paying attention, you know. But it's doing, I think it's doing a lifetime damage to a lot of high school kids who are inquisitive of my skin. You understand? I mean, America, America had to go to the Supreme Court. They have the courts escort them to these jobs mm -hmm. that they were entitled to as being a citizen of that country. Who's, Remember which, that? Yeah, which category of Bahamian is being discriminated against? Kauke Joe's are not a, white people are not allowed to work in governmental departments. They, they, they no, no, man, look at your text. Okay, two things. Text, the caller, 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 hold on. We're talking sports today. I, I, and I'm not, I'm not diminishing your, your, your argument or the discourse you want to have no, right now. You don't think that's racism? Listen, you want to talk. I would like to see white cars. Dear, dear caller, hold on, dear caller. Dear caller. First of all, I'm not cutting you in an attempt to diminish what you're saying. You talking to Aaron Green? Who talked more about race in the Bahamas than Aaron Green? Nobody. Nobody. No, but not right? even Sean A can talk about race. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pauline either. Uh, look here, Pauline, me and you and the Chick Chani, we're going to have a race soon. But nobody talks more about race than me. Today is sports day. But I want to also say this. This is so more nuanced and complicated than you would suggest in your first uh, positing of you know, your position. We could talk about that at, an, at another day. Because um, that's like you telling me that Conky Joe people don't participate in Junkanoo. And I can tell you that's a lie. Yeah. An oh, absolute yeah. lie, you know? And so, but thank you for calling. And then, yeah, we only get 30, 45 minutes. Um, somebody said to you, nobody wants Ben Simmons. Nobody wants him. But um, he is still a fully guaranteed contract to it, contracted player in the yeah. NBA. So if he has to be moved around in order for other teams to get better, he will be. All right. Um, so I found this star duos right now, right? So that's playing right now. Not in the past. No Michael Jordan, Pippen, no mm -hmm. Charles Barkley and anybody. 
You heard what I said, Charles Barkley and anybody yeah. could have been the best duo, right? Because yeah. Barkley had the talks. But this is uh, ranking the NBA's best superstar duos right now. And I imagine in this, in, in this time of trades and contracts, that players who are putting themselves to be traded are also looking at rankings like these. And, and, and teams, coaches, are not trying to break up the duos that they have already established. So tell me what you think of this list. I found this online. Um, tell me what you think of this list. So missing the cut. These guys, don't even, they don't even make the cut for the best duos right now in the game. Uh, Tatum, Tatum and Williams, Booker and Chris Paul, Garland and Allen, uh, Tatum and Jalen Brown, Trey Young and DeJounte Murray, Butler and Adebayo, right? In their ranking system, these by them don't even make the cut of the best superstars. But how could Devin Booker and Chris Paul not make that cut? I don't understand how Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown don't make the cut. I mean, they made the finals. Right. That's why. And then they say in the honorable mention list here, Steph Curry and Draymond Green, did they not just win a ring a month ago? This is what I say. I'm trying to figure out how could they only get an honorable mention. I don't know. Or is it that that... That what they're saying is that it's not because of that duo that they won, right? From well, I'm, I, I mean, it is a, it is a team sport. It's yeah, yeah. A, you know, it is a team sport. So LeBron and uh, Anthony Davis didn't make the cut as well. Yes. The cut. They get honorable mentions. Mm -hmm. They come in lower than Steph Curry and Draymond Green, but and James Harden come number four on the list. How yeah. they beat out LeBron? And Anthony Davis. No, they didn't beat them out, you know. Because if you notice, it's plus 0.95 for them. And it's negative um, 11.7 for Harden and, and Embiid. Yeah, yeah. So those two, while they may be flashy and look good on the court, in the long run it doesn't work out for the betterment of the team. That's what, it, that's what this list seems. Because none of that's these guys it made it very far. When I say very far in the playoffs, they didn't make it as far as they were expected to make exactly. it. And, and their losing was a big shock across the league. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a big shock <laughs> up until the last minutes of the game. When people were like, oh, yeah, well, y'all don't qualify. This NBA Finals was really interesting to me because it's like watching it, I'm wondering, how could anybody but Steph Curry be making this level of money? These guys didn't perform this year in the playoffs like people who should be making $133 million a year. Well, well, the problem is, is, is that the NBA has become so, so much of a, of a wing dominated league, you know, yeah, yeah. it's not point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward. Three center. point, three point, three it, point. It, it, everything is just run down the court, shoot three pointers. And what they're not doing, like I always say, is that Steph Curry takes a thousand threes after the game. Yeah, after yeah. he's exhausted, he goes back on the court. This is what makes him um, have the ability to shoot from 70 feet away. And these fellas can't hit a running layup. Because you, know, wow. you don't practice even a layup drill anymore. Everything is just pull up for three, pull up for three, pull up for three. And, you know, Steph Curry has ruined the league by not also explaining, yes, I can hit the three. But the reason why I hit it is because I practice it. Yeah, all day. All, all day. night. That's all. And, and, and that's something that just doesn't happen. Yeah. But I will tell you something that does happen. Yeah. No matter who's playing, I notice you have clothes for any team that's winning. You're absolutely right. Because mm -hmm. I'm a Bahamian sports fan. Mm -hmm. you got to be prepared. That. Just like the player, you got to be prepared at any moment mm -hmm. to cheer for the winning team. Yeah. you got to yeah. wrap your you head around this game. You don't, you don't want to You don't want to cheer for your team. You don't have a... What no, you but I mean, the winning team is my team because I'm a winner. Right, right. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And you need to understand yeah, you that today... you were a Phoenix Sun for a minute. You uh, Yeah, and today I wear in the colors of the places where the teams is play. Huh? Bahamian team played Bahama. We were in Bahama. Bahama. Aqua today. <laughs> Aqua, not blue. Bahama, aqua, yeah. not blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we got that. <laughs> yeah. That's a break coming up. Call if you could hold the line. That would be great. Y'all hear this song? Independence Morning is like a baby born in. This is the best. Remember when we was young and we couldn't stand the song? And now that you're older, it's a part of you. Yeah, it's a part of you. Part of you. Just the same Framework way you, now. you yeah. grow to love your country and to understand it. You grow to love this song and to understand it. Yeah, because as a child, I hated it. Oh, That's oh. all right. <laughs> uh. That's because we couldn't stay up past 9 p.m. any night for nothing, not even Junkanoo. 
to see the morning. Anyway, we go into a break. You are on the clock with Aaron Green and Eric Sawyer the Third. Stay tuned. Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. We'll be right back. And he's the teachings of the Lord. Let justice be for one and all. Short and tall, big and how important collecting your money can be to the success of your business. Start your relationship with Fidelity today so that we can show you with our merchant services. From click and pay options online to merchant terminals and e-commerce options, we're here to help your business succeed. For more details, speak to one of our business development officers at 356-7764 in Nassau or 352-6676 in Freeport. Visit our website at fidelitygroup.com or visit any of our branches. Is this thing on? Listen up! Nassau's favorite Friday happy hour event is back! But this time, bigger and better than ever! Facade, Star 106, and Margaritaville Downtown presents Fish Fry Fridays! One, two, three, go! Friday, July 29th, kicking off at 6.30 p.m. at the exclusive 12-volt bar at the beautiful Margaritaville Downtown. It's a happy massage band live. Get off from work. Kick off your shoes. And enjoy the best of the Margaritaville Downtown Original Fish Fry Fridays. Friday, July 29th. All party massage! Admission is $25 and includes one free Bacardi Mojito. Or enjoy the Vacation Cafe Buffet with full access to the event for only $55. Tune in to Star 106 for more details. Fish Fry Fridays. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Good yawning this morning. Look here. Producer, I have never heard this song before. Thank you for playing it. Something new. Thank you, thank you. These young people will surprise you. Okay, so Mr. Soy, I had two texts come in for you. One is, uh, great show as usual. Uh, Michael Jordan must be a Bahamian because he is definitely a winner. In the grand Bahamian tradition, we claim everything. Yeah, once you win in, boy, we love you. Yes. Yeah, but boy, that's it. Yeah, you from Africa, I from Africa. But, we are probably but, much like hey, we win the related. whole Olympics. We win the whole NBA finals. Yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. We just winning. Absolutely, all year. And uh, and in fact, I got a list of things we won. Remember, I I don't know if you were here, but that young Ferguson man. We gonna read it again. Again, Craig Ferguson made waves to the Bahamas in international sailing. This thirteen-year-old ninth grader. I saw that from St. John's College. Made history by becoming the first Bahamian to win the old silver fleet at the 2022 Arcas Optimus yeah, World. Yeah, he was in Turkey. Yeah, in Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Big things. Yeah, money did well. All over the world. Dinghy money boat sailing. It's a yeah. dinghy boat association. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and he, he did very well. Absolutely. We got call on the line. Good morning, call on the clock. Yes, sir. Good morning to all. Good morning. Good morning. How you do? Not bad. You know, Miss Green, I, I, did, I did junior high in uh, eighth grade in the state of Michigan in 1975. We had a gymnasium. Mm-hmm. The high school next door, they had a gymnasium as well. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel that it is time that, you know, uh, our government invests in, in, in gymnasiums in the school. Mm-hmm. And if I see up the government, they, they did three. I guess four, because I'm barely senior high, I have one. Yeah. had one, and it's destroyed now. Then you had AFR Lee, CI, I mean, uh, LW Young, and, and, and GW Davis, two of which are doing your school, you know. And it's, it is sad that, 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 that everything stopped, you mm-hmm. know, and, you know, I, maybe, maybe, uh, uh, DeAndre could adopt a school with the big money he's making and, 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 and do a public school gymnasium. Not well, a you're right. One. You're right. You're right. Just, just put a whole gym for anybody. Uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah. Buddy, he, he's making enough money. 
Mm-hmm. When a baseball player big sign a big contract, he needs to go spend some money and show the government do do something in, in a public school, create a diamond in the public school, not them private mm-hmm. leagues and things. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, I mean, big up, big up the, 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 the guy that do the, the, uh, the basketball camp. Yeah. You know, I think uh, DeAndre Aiden was able to benefit from that, but that's only a summer club. Right. Jeff you Rogers. understand me one thing, and his height really saved him. And Buddy Hill, he went to a, 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 a crate on a long post. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we our government needs to stop this tourism thing, this sports tourism thing, and see what sports development or, where the talents are. Or at the, or or at the very home. least, it has to be... Sports, you know, the, the, in, in track and field and baseball, don't mind these guys that's doing well now. That's mm-hmm. just the tip of the iceberg. You see, and, 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 and just because these guys are doing well, the government gets, like, take the box, take this lazy pair attitude and... And, Thank and, you. And, and various in this tourism thing that's no good for us, that doesn't do anything for us because we don't own it. Thank you much. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, look here. You're right. We need to put pressure on these players to come back and contribute. Yeah. yeah right? Man. Yeah, if better. it was difficult for you to get out, imagine how imagine much more difficult it is now, now yeah. for younger people to get out. Mm-hmm. A good and, batter's cage wouldn't be half bad. Right. Like a proper batter's cage. Not, right. Not fellas throwing the ball, where you actually put the baseballs in and it fires at the plate. Right. And you learn to swing. Proper yeah. swing. Proper swings. And so yeah, you it's... You time it, you know? It's a... Uh, Analyze it. Yeah, man. And, and get in there. Mm-hmm. When you were there, the infrastructure was there, even though the social, uh, the culture of appreciation for what you were doing wasn't, wasn't there. Yeah. Now the culture of appreciation is it's there, growing, but yeah, the mm-hmm. infrastructure is deteriorated. Not, yeah. And this is something that little children cannot solve on their own. Mm-hmm. And when they do begin to solve problems on their own, it's because they figured out a stream of income to generate the cash they need to do it. And we don't want them to do that. We don't ever want yeah, children to have to bitter. figure out how to bitter. generate money. They can get better about it after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, Who so, else texts you? Ooh, let's see. Somebody else sent you a text. Before the Jordan text. Ah. Uh, I heard your phone go off. Yeah, they said, I am classified. Oh, they're talking about Independence Morning song. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, there was a guy that's... Yeah, yeah, that text. Yes, yes. Uh, what do you want? He wants to know, what's, what do you think? Not me. What do mm-hmm. you think the difference is between DeAndre, Buddy, and Kai? Those three players. What is, what's the difference? Yeah. Uh, what makes DeAndre so valuable? But not necessarily Kai okay. and Buddy. And then I want to throw in there the story about Mackie Jr., who Willis played, Mackie Jr., who plays in, in Europe. Europe. Yeah. 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 So it was the difference between, you know, what separates DeAndre from these other two guys and this big money contract? Okay. Right? I mean, I could tell you the answer right away. Firstly, yeah, Buddy yeah. has a big money contract. Already. Already. Yeah, yeah. He had that from two years ago. That's the first thing. Okay. He have his money. All right? He secured the bag already. All right. Yeah, okay? yeah. So, um, and uh, he secured the bag after year four. Mm-hmm. Not bad at all. Um, DeAndre, like we said earlier, needs to mentally grow up. Because now he's going to make big man money now. Yeah, you, yeah. You know, every Monday they're paying the NBA. Yeah. And right now, if you stretch $30 million over 52 weeks, what you get? Man, Buku so much, dollars. so much it cup and baggy, make, so much what? cup and baggy and salty. It don't yeah. even make sense. All right, okay. Um, so the difference, really, well and truly, between those, well, Buddy right now is on top. Yeah, you know, he's shown and proven that he, and 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 no matter what team he plays for, he goes out there and plays hard, gives it one hundred and ten percent. Yeah, even though he knows, you know, I'm sure he knows going into going into any particular game, he's probably gonna lose this one. You know. Yeah. But um, so uh, his work ethic speaks for itself, yeah. first and foremost. So he's number one in my books. Yeah. Number two, of course, is DeAndre because, you know, he's shown and proven to take the risk out on him to even match an offer sheet from another team. Yeah. So now, you know, he's shown and proven that he's worthy of, 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 of um, being able to be offered a contract. Yeah. Now, he has to show and prove that he's worthy of being paid. That money. That yeah. money. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That he deserves it. 
Yeah. Now, Kai, Kai is on the up and up, as we already know. Um, but some pictures have been have 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 um, leaked out of him in the gym. He's gained about ten pounds of muscle. Yeah, I was about to say you got to yeah. put on some weight. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, he put yeah. on some weight. He he's been training at uh, MacFit, both locations, from what I understand. All right. And um, he's doing very well. Um, I think he picked up a basketball for the first time this week. Uh huh. You know, so since he's coming down, what a month now? Yeah. It's just been, been straight training. weight training. That's good. You need to put on that yeah, weight. Cause, get that balance. Because I'm going to say this. Uh, what I see as what separates or DeAndre from these other two, like why all this mm -hmm. money, why all this attention? Look at Durant. Yeah. Look at Durant stomping all over the NBA like he's the biggest ball. He didn't even get the MVP. The other, uh, the other center got the MVP this year, right? Jokic. From, right, from uh, regular season. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they need big men. Yeah, yeah, they, they need, need big, big men. men who could challenge a Durant and could challenge a Jovic, Yo Jokic, Jokic, and could challenge a Jokic. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, there is a Jovic now in the NBA. He's a rookie for the Heat. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, Nikola no, Jokic. Jovic, I can get it, yeah. Jokic. Yeah. We got a caller on the line. Good morning, caller. You're on the clock. Hey, yo, sorry, man. I'm not lost now. How do y'all y'all dream these things? How y'all just remember all these people's business? I just have to do research. <laughs> that ain't research. That's mine and people's business. Ah, uh, sometimes. Y'all know more about these people's business than they, I believe y'all know more about these people than they they can remember about their own self. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all know what primary school and thing they go on to. And they, it's for these things in the Bahamas. You go away and you win one gold medal in Corista or something or anything, uh -huh. and you got one of them funny names that don't sound like Roland Johnson. Uh huh. You become a, a bad man automatically, right? <laughs> <laughs> once you win, now you bad man. Yeah, once you win, you win. You're a winner. You bad man. Me, I would tell her, even they born in the Bahamas. Look, Michael he, Street does some clay, right? Yeah. They born in the Bahamas. But he, he carried one big flag around bigger than the bus that he was in. Yeah, yeah. He's bad man. Listen, but, if, but I was, born here. if I was I in mean, charge they, of the Ministry of Tourism... If I was in charge of Ministry of Tourism, a part of our sports tourism package, if you win anything big in the world, we offer you Bahamian citizenship. But, but you see, I, I just find out, you know, this problem we have, but which Bahamians we could be Bahamianized and who, who we could give status to and thing. Uh -huh. All we got to do is tell all them people in the Sandy Town, uh -huh. be good in sports, win one gold somewhere, uh -huh. uh, and the cabinet give you your Bahamian citizenship right away. Right. You saw that story about Mo Farah, the British runner? Whether in England? Yeah. Yeah, who gone there uh, with the wrong passport and the wrong picture? And I mean, you, you make it seem so polite. He was trafficked into England as a little yes, boy. Yes, and he done, he, he, he done gone in the Olympics and been all kind of gold from England. He's one of the most acclaimed athletes ever out of it, Great it, Britain. In the marathon, right? Uh, I, I, I can't remember. It ain't that acclaimed to me. I think it's the marathon. But, now, all of a sudden, his, his conscience came out. That wasn't now his conscience. Left. But it's the point. Yeah? It's so not now his. Now he's letting the world. All of them people would save you from Britain. Now he's letting the world know who he really is. Yep. But look here, Sparky. I gotta go. I, it's not his conscience. He but, Brit but Britain then got him down as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as an Englishman, and the fellow tells me he ain't born there. He come there with a fake passport. That's not technically what he said. What he said was when he was a little boy, he was trafficked into Britain and he became a servant. They make you wake. Like in the Bahamas, even if you're Haitian in the shanty town, we believe children should go to school. Yeah. They made this boy go live in somebody's house and be a slave. And he wake and he worked until he could free himself, essentially. I ain't sure if he had help or if he just, you know, matriculated out of high school and was able to get a job and move on. But what that story is saying is, look here, this boy valued the, the ability to be British, to be rescued from that so much that he didn't make a big deal about it. Or he still felt so afraid to say to these people, look here, I was trafficked here as a slave, you know. Like, you know what it is uh, when you're afraid to tell people that you were trafficked as a slave? Mental slavery. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot inside. deeper than we think it is on the surface. Mm-hmm. Okay, look here. You playing that music producer? That means it's time to go to a break? Let's go to a break. And when we get back from the break, we can talk some Jonquel Jones. Our boy Chisholm made it to the All-Star. Starting second baseman. Yep, yep. Nation swimming nationals, flag football, soccer in Inagua. Plenty of things to talk about. Stay tuned. Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. I don't like saying, no more we gonna 
spend my money when I go to my grave. Yes, I survive him and don't want make no fuss. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Parents, it's that sweet time of year again. The kids are going back to school. So pick up your copy of the Nassar Guardian's Back to School Supplement, cuz... It's the most wonderful time of the year. Put your students in the latest styles at the lowest prices, because summer break is almost over. Filled with brand name back to school supplies at discounted prices, store locations, hours, and contact details. It's the happiest season of all. Advertisers. Call the Nassau Guardian today at 302-2300 or call your account executive to get in on the two-for-one insertion deal. If it's uniforms, shoes, books, backpacks, calculators, art supplies, laptops, tablets, or whatever is on your back-to-school supply list, your ad should be in the Nassau Guardian's back-to-school supply. It's the most wonderful time of the year. We're not always able to see the storms in life approaching, but we can take the necessary steps to be prepared to ensure the safety of ourselves, our loved ones, and our property. This hurricane season, trust J.S. Johnson Insurance agents and brokers. We'll be here to help you get back on track in your time of need. Call 397-2100 or visit jsjohnson.com. J.S. Johnson Insurance agents and brokers, giving you peace of mind. Church on the hill, church packed with brethren, dressed down to kill. Rev just started his sermon, but before he get in the groove, Sister Brown look out the window and spot crab on the move. She ball on church chop, crab crawling, church chop, crab crawling. Cut your sermon short. Good yawning this morning. This is Mr. Sawyer. When the Bahama games roll around, they better have catching crab as a sport. They better have it as a whole discipline. The obstacle courses. I want to see the conk. I want to see the sprint, the dash, the, the hurdles, dive and conk. This gotta what have What kind of dash are we talking about now? Both types. Okay. Both types, All right, running important. away from a crab and running to a crab, dashing, right? But also the martial arts. I thought you mean, I thought you mean like the dashing, like what we used to do, you know, you know, as little kids when you, when you like play, play, fight, you know, you have a dash. First of all, it's a recognized, officially recognized Bahamian martial arts called dashing. It ain't just play, playing. And if you mess with me in 2022, I can dash you. So to dash, what you do is you let the person come like they come in, they, they want to threaten you, let them come at you, uh-huh. and then step out the way and trip them down. When you trip them down, right, as they fall in, use their momentum to push off of them. So if like they're already going down to the ground, it's not like you throwing them down, right? right? And you push off of them and you head in the opposite direction of where they're heading. They're heading to the ground, you fly away from the fight as far as you could get. Yeah, 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 because, yeah. you know. Like right now in this day and age, we can't encourage too much of that. Right, that's Bayam and Dashin, yeah. and and I mean, I sure it has its roots in the Caribbean because Bob Marley said, "He who lives, <laughs> he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day." Mm-hmm. Right, so it got to be Caribbean rooted, but that's what Dashin is, uh, and they got to have it in Bahama Games. They if not, to. why not? They have to if catch not, and crab. Not, they got to have a catch and crab competition. Uh, there's plenty of other things in Bahamian news. The Avengers and the Wildcats, uh, flag football champions this year. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Wildcats are the girls. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. A few of those people are good for. Jade Knowles is on the team. Yep. The spot, the spot, 2 yeah. 4 2. Yeah. Um, what is interesting about this story is for the male champions, it in eight years, I think, it's, it's taken them a long time to get it, and they finally won. And they uh, beat the Avengers, beat uh, the EDLC Lions. I think that's what they played. 20 to 3. Well, you know what that means? Well, well, watch this. Gianno is on the Lions team. Gianno wasn't playing. <laughs> Good morning, Gianno Wallace. Good to hear your name. Good to hear your name. We talked about Ferguson, who won the uh, Optimus Dinghy Boat Championship. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. In his category, he was the winner. In total, there were 276 sailors in the competition. And uh, we're just going to call the other members of his team, Zane Munro, Patrick Tomlinson, Finley McKinney Lambert, Norman Cartwright. Yeah. I hope I got all of those yeah, names right. in there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, bodybuilding national set for Saturday. I think in Paradise Island on Saturday, action gets underway at 7 p.m. They're competing in men's physique, men's muscular physique, women's figure, women's bikini, women's wellness, women's fit model, women's fitness, men's fitness, men's fit model, men's classic physique, and men's body building. I wonder if my classmate can be in that this year. Shakira Ferguson, she, she does very well in that. Now, you know who is supposed to be in it? A part of the like the Guardian family of companies, mm-hmm. family, is going to be competing this weekend. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. In the uh, Bahamas Body Building Competition. Okay, good stuff, right. man. Good Listen, stuff. Uh, the Bahamas claims two gold and a bronze at the Babe Ruth Caribbean Region Championships. Well, that was good, boy. It was? Yeah, that was good. good. That was well attended. Yeah, yeah. Between that and the, um, and the swim championships this weekend. Yeah. But I like driving, driving around the, driving around the sports center and the complex. It was, it was rough. Good. It was rough. There was a lot Plenty of cars. cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that means it's something for families to do together, <sighs> and that is great. Stevie yeah. Gardner is not competing this weekend, but yeah. uh, Weibo Miller is. John Quell reached twenty five hundred point career milestone. Uh, just the other. Night, I think she was, they defeated the Indiana Fever, 89-81. And she's also, well, she's the reigning MVP, right? So she played in the All-Star uh, weekend of mm-hmm. competition. And then came right back to the court. And, mm-hmm. uh, and then hit a 2,500 mile, uh, uh, point milestone. milestone. Yeah, yeah, man. Right. But she do, she, she's doing very well. That, they need to put one or two more players around her team, though. I've watched her play. She's played so hard, and, for, and players just... So we'll be saying that uh, she needs more support on the team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She, she's like one good point guard away. Yeah. One good point guard away, because she has to bring the ball up sometimes, you know, initiate the play, yeah. try to get the ball back, score. If it misses, get her own rebound. She's one good, tall point guard away. I got you. Mm -hmm. I got you. But listen, uh, Brittany Griner, still locked up. Still locked up, son. Look here. Before you go to Europe to try and make extra money on top of your WNBA uh, career junk well and uh, do foolishness, you come to the Bahamas. We can figure something out. We can... We can export guava duff or something. Yeah. Mommy put you right here on Sports Friday. Yeah, yeah. Talk sports with us every Friday. You can be paid, but I'm sure we can find yourself a sponsor. I- I'll find you a sponsor. No, no shade. Yeah, yeah. No shade. <laughs> no shade on Friday. Anyway, sponsor. you guys, go online and check out this FIFA story. Seb Blatter and Michael Platini, former heads of FIFA and UEFA, were cleared of corruption charges by a Swiss court. Remember, the Bahamas pay- played a big part in their uh, case. Oh, not there. Yeah, yeah, check that story out. Anyway, Mr. Sawyer, thank you very much for joining me today. I had one story about Westbrook, but I am all out of space for pettiness. Uh, Westbrook, we love you. Man, I just found out. I wouldn't say found out, but I was supposed to call his name a long time. Mr. Yeah. Smith. Good morning, sir. How are you, sir? Who's Mr. Smith? He listens very well, Mr. Okay. Reggie Smith. He listens very well every week. Good morning, morning, Mr. Smith. How you do? Yeah, man, every week. Look here, Mr. Smith, you think you won um, sponsor one parking championship? <laughs> we can do something special for the Bahama Games, man. Yeah, we Catch need and grab there. Kong. They something. have to be in the Bahama Games lineup. Anyway, we're all out of time. Thank you for joining me, Mr. Sawyer. Thanks in for this me. Independence Month, we're yes. talking plenty basketball because plenty Bahamians love basketball. That's what it is and right now, man. NBA training camp is on. Yeah, We're running. Absolutely. Summer League, everything. Mr. Producer, thank you very much this morning. You guys have a great week. When we come back next week, we're talking politics and everything else in the Bahamas. Have a not great on Friday, though. Not on no, Friday. no, not on Friday. <laughs> have a great weekend.